Deadpool versus Cable, the Mark with a Mouth versus the Chosen One. Who will win? Let us know your pick in those comments below with either hashtag Deadpool or hashtag Cable. Hey everybody, welcome back to Versus, a series on our channel where we take two characters and toss them in the ring together to see who would win in a hypothetical death match. Today we're looking at two characters who are tangoing on the big screen together in the Deadpool 2 movie, Cable and Deadpool himself. Now before we jump into this match, a few rules. This battle happens on a chance meeting, and not between the cinematic adaptations of the characters. We're talking their comic book selves, and they've never met before. So with that in mind, let's jump in. Let's start off by looking at their origins. Deadpool's up first. Wade Winston Wilson was created by Rob Liefeld in 1991, first appearing in the New Mutants issue 98. He was initially a supervillain, but over time has evolved into more of an anti-hero. Having a tendency to never stop talking, cracking jokes, and breaking the fourth wall, the character got the nickname Merc with a Mouth, and has a history of being a comedic character. His origin has changed over the years, with the initial one being that he joined the Weapon X program after being kicked out of the US Army Special Forces. These days, the more familiar origin story perpetuated by the Deadpool films is that the character was an assassin who was taken in by the program, tormented and scarred horribly, but gained a powerful regenerative healing ability out of it. Unfortunately, it left him badly scarred, which he himself has proclaimed in the comics makes him look like Ryan Reynolds crossed with a Sharpay. He's also Canadian. He grew up in Clare, Saskatchewan. Moving on to Cable. Cable is the biological son of X-Men member Cyclops, aka Scott Summers, and Madeline Pryor, a clone of Jean Grey's. He comes from a possible future timeline, a timeline he had been transported to when he was an infant. There he would become a warrior and then return to the present. The character first appeared as a newborn infant in Uncanny X-Men 201 in 1986 via writer Chris Claremont, while his adult identity would appear in 1990 in The New Mutants 87, crafted by Louise Simonson and Rob Liefeld. Named Nathan, the character was initially not meant to be the adult version of Nathan Summers, but was made that way due to editorial concerns. His creation overall was due to a need to shake things up and give the New Mutants a new leader. Alright, let's move on to abilities. Let's look at Cable's first. He has telepathy, telekinesis, technopathy, is an expert marksman and hand-to-hand -hand combatant, and has cyber Cybernetic enhancements. Born with telepathy and telekinetic abilities, these powers have varied over the years in terms of their extent, once having increased to the magnitude of Nate Gray, who is genetically identical to him. He's taken on the Silver Surfer in the past, while simultaneously levitating the floating city of Providence. That's no easy feat. In Cable Volume 2 in 2009, he stated that those abilities have diminished and faded away, but at times he has demonstrated some use of it when it comes to holding back the techno organic virus in his body, and when hiding people from Stripe's mental view. In Deadpool and Cable Split Second in 2015, he didn't have any of those powers, but managed to retain his precognition, but then gets his powers back again after Deadpool repairs his timeline. So what else does he have up that cybernetic sleeve? Well, let's discuss his strength. He's fought Wolverine to a stalemate back in the 1990s New Mutants issue number 93. He's defeated Captain America, Red Hulk, and Iron Man, all while enduring severe pain due to his techno-organic infection. His left eye enhances his eyesight and lets him see into the infrared spectrum, and his cybernetic enhancements allow him to hack into computers and other pieces of technology and travel through time. So what about the Merc with the Mouth? Well, Deadpool has an extended longevity via an impressive regenerative healing factor. He's a skilled marksman, swordsman, and hand to hand combatant. He has a magic satchel and devices that grant him teleportation and holographic disguise. His healing ability has been strong enough to allow him to survive from complete incineration and decapitation more than once, and even has had his head regrow after it was pulverized by the Hulk in Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe. He is invulnerable to psychic and telepathic powers, although sometimes this ability has been inconsistent with various writers. Alright, on to the fight. This is a battle that we We've seen pan out multiple times in the comics. Cable's got some immense strength, and Deadpool, while being pretty strong, doesn't quite compete. In the earlier moments of their battle, Deadpool would no doubt have Cable on edge with his wickedly fast reflexes and his wit. But here's the thing. Deadpool is pretty prone to getting distracted. While he may have a great sense of humor, that sometimes gets him into more trouble than necessary. And Cable, being a master tactician, could definitely take advantage of that. That being said, Deadpool's smart, and he could turn Cable's expertise against him. Deadpool is unpredictable, after all. To top it all off, even if Cable smashes him to smithereens, Deadpool can regenerate. He's basically immortal. So who's the winner? Well, it's a tie. Sort of. Why's that? Because these two would get into a bit of a cycle. Cable would win the fight, Deadpool would slowly regenerate, they would fight again, and again, and again. 
until their bromance blossoms and they team up and join sides. This has happened before. Cable's defeated Deadpool and it wasn't the end of him. But if we're talking about who would win in a one off battle, it's likely Cable. He would KO Wade pretty easily. Dude's an expert when it comes to combat, whereas Wade sometimes loses his focus. Alright, there we have it, friends. Do you agree with our pick? Or do you think that Deadpool flat out just deserves to win? Let us know in those comments below. If you dug this video, please show some love by hitting those like and subscribe buttons. Don't forget to take a look at our channel too, and check out some of our more versus videos and regular lists. We've got a ton of other great videos in the playlist that's currently flashing on your screen too, so definitely check it out. In the meantime, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you all in the next one.